This class is still perfectly fine. Versus Lunara. The forest fights back. You face Mecha Duratus. Like, it, it should be a little bit less prevalent, but like, look, first game of the day, hey, a druid, who would have guessed, right? Because fuck wild. Class is still really good, dude, and like, honestly, it's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, Tice, thank you for the sub, man. Welcome to Digital Athletes. Here we one, buddy. Thank you. Give it a good day, man. Appreciate it. And, uh, let me see. Lil XD Boomy, thanks for the sub as well. Welcome to Digital Athletes. Hey, everyone, buddy. Hope you're having a good day. Appreciate you. Um,. Well, okay. Um, I have not seen this archetype of Druid before, so that's moderately interesting. It's tough, so my deck looks to do the exact same kind of thing even against a deck that I have no clue. That even against a deck... My English is really bad right now. Um, I'm playing against a deck that I don't know. How do I how do I form the sentence so it's proper? I don't know what the deck that I'm playing is is using for its 30 cards. Holy, I don't know why that was so hard. Um, there are there good cards that say choose one on them. Does it really matter? This is going to be better than whatever choose one cards I can play around, right? I don't know if I really care if he coins Fandral. Maybe I do just respect it. Like, the initiative that I'm getting isn't very much. I think I just respect it. No bump, but I don't want to heal more than that. I'm going to take damage next turn and upgrade this again. Okay. It's important to play one now that we have two of them. I'll now bump because the hero power is now three instead of one. So the bump's not very good. Okay, this makes sense. Swipe face, pass, that's fine. So, what is my best line this turn? Um, Teldram's quite appealing, actually. I'd like to clear that, but maybe we don't want to. I don't think the priority needs to be that high on clearing this minion. So I feel fairly comfortable just doing this. Um, Dark Pack's moderately good as well. Uh, I think the play is pretty simple though, I just want to do this. I don't really want to overthink this. It doesn't really make any sense to think it over too many times because this just makes sense to do. Because uh, next turn I can still like call her plus Taldoram. Taldoram as in copy, whatever pops out of this. He still has Poison Seeds and Plague, I'm not really sure what the idea of this deck is though. It seems to be like some temp-oriented druid, but my deck will generally do well against mean decks like this. So if I pull the Void Caller, it's pretty bad, so I think I'm just going to Void Caller. Should tap first, tap, Void Caller, Dark Pact. I actually think I prefer to tap last because I prefer to have Melganis or the Void Lord out. Over like a Doom Guard, for example. That's another good reason safety health. Uh, my hand's looking pretty good and I'm not really sure how I lose, especially with a Hellfire in hand. So I feel like the way that I would lose this game is if he could go really wide, really fast. And I don't think that's going to happen, because um, he's already played one pass and he's playing an even deck, which means he has enough Savage War. It's also fairly interesting that he's at this rank playing this deck, because there's players who are like rank 100 something legend in Wild right now. And... Um, Day, you don't usually expect people to be playing interesting homebrews to be a decent rank, so I think that's actually really cool. Give them props for that for sure. I'm gonna tap first this turn. Uh, then we're gonna trade. And we're actually just gonna cube here. Perfect. Can trade off the cube with that first Hald ramming it though, and then we'll have four Void Lords in play. Photo Rider, interesting. Okay. So I think we should be okay. Uh, your girlfriend asked to borrow money, you've only been dating for a couple weeks, but it's kind of a lot. Um, I would probably not lend her money. That is probably what I would do myself. Uh, but there, there are factors that matter when considering things like this. 
Uh, so if I bump there, then this is a three. Do I get a two anyhow? I don't get a two anyhow. So I'd want to do that, but I'd want to do this first. Tremble before Tal'Darum, mortals. So if I do that... This is five. Yeah, yeah, we don't have lethal. Um, but let's just think here. So... We could do it so we Godfrey and pop it, but like I, I just don't really know if I need value, and the, the answer is most likely I just don't. If I just trade, go face, and then do the Godfrey thing, we'd probably just win the game. But it's just like, in what case would we actually need the value from the extra Void Man? My answer, I don't know. We're gonna be greedy anyways. Make the greedy play. It's not even really, like, necessarily a greedy play, it's just a line where I don't full clear and get a little bit more value. This, you could argue that Taldorim's just better on, like, a Doom Guard or something. Seems fine, though. I, I don't think my line really matters, and so I'm kind of overthinking it. Because, like, it just doesn't really change anything, I kind of just win no matter what right now. Yeah, kind of just win. Uh, yeah, good game. First one of the day. Good stuff. Cool deck though. I like I dig it. Ooh, tight MMR, wow. I was on mm. Well we get a play against Even Drew it again. Cool. Godfrey could be a keep in this matchup, no meme. Let's try it. This isn't a deck that'll be really explosive and kill you super fast, so I actually feel like Godfrey is a fairly good keep. Uh, it won't matter with this hand, obviously, but in general, I think it's fine. We it's the meaning of life, whatever you make it yourself. You find you find your own life's meaning. There is no meaning to life. You just yeah, you just find it yourself. Hi, Fat Ghost Nerd. How are you? Are you the light in the darkness? Yes, sir. Another night on the prowl. Oh, three two shit. I have to tap into that. Ow. Ow. How do they cram all that gram into gram or to cold the grams? Holy, that was a mouthful. Uh, I'm not sure actually. That's a good question. How do you deal with disappointment in life when you try hard? Um, I usually just stay in my bed all day and um. Do nothing. That's all. So not in a very healthy manner. Uh-oh, Fandral. Ow. My face. Oh, we get a big tomboy after this. I'm not really sure how worried I am about that. I don't really know if I want a Hellfire either. I kind of like Hellfire because it upgrades this. I think that we just let this live and just do that. If he runs one silence, it's not really a big deal. I have ways to get my health back up. Poison, that's fine. Oh, that's actually pretty crazy shit. 1-5 Poisonous? Galacker Crawler? Am I gonna play the 2 class arena? No sir! <laughs> arena sucks. Uh, we're gonna lifesteal, heal for 5, and bonk this little Fandro guy. I'll draft two class arena, but I don't really want to play it. This curse has become our greatest strength. Okay, well we trade here in Q. This is a very similar pan to last game. Where like, you know, Godfrey's really good in this matchup, but the card I even kept it this game. It's never playable because we just got a void caller. And it's very, very common for this deck to just do that. 3-2 on the trade, nice. Spaceless this, trade. And dark bomb, bonk, bonk. Good game. I'd be really surprised if this guy actually climbed all the way up here with this deck, though. Maybe it's just like post nerf meta that this deck just destroys stuff, I don't really know. But it's not even like he's running death rattles for Nazoth or anything. It's just, it's odd. Kind of a weird amount of damage that I need to deal here. I can't Dark Bomb do that. I could... I could Defile Spells and Trade. 
It's probably fine. Uh, it's not lost, by the way. Wasn't that a risky play because of Devolve? Um, I think he's playing... I just, I, I think he's playing. I'm not 100% sure. Druid and not Warlock. Again, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what he's playing. Defending Torrent's pretty cool. I dig that. Let us reach. There's a lot of stuff that we don't need to do, and clearing his stuff is really not something I have to do. I just wanted to clear the 3 2, so I had room to play the Void Lord for free. So we can do like the Cube Paladram stuff and then just win the game again. Pretty straightforward. Is this the guy from last game? Yes, sir. Same guy that played the last um, even Druid deck. What even card does Druid have? Uh, they have Druid of the Swarm. Wild Growth. Swipe. Spreading Plague is an even card. It's a scary one. Smash the top button. Mr. Corruptor Man. Dun, dun, dun. I can't actually tell them, which kind of sucks. Does it really matter though? No. <laughs> Okay, I think we might win. Oh, did I say Druid and not Warlock? I mean Druid and, and not Shaman. Shaman's the class with Devolve, not Druid. Well, we got one rank, so that's kind of good. People have been playing, wow. 